Oh yes, we've got those hot weather conditions for you, July like, right? Well, yeah. we had beautiful conditions out over Lake Jeanette from this morning. You know, John Z. Kiss shares some photos with us from that area, and he is a professor at UNCG. What a great day to be out on the lake, at least early, because the storms roll in. I want to show you this from Graham too. Areas of western Alamance County and Greensboro got hit with lots of showers and thunderstorms this morning, and earth through middle of the day, and then things started to clear up. So we've got some nice sunshine out there for you. I want to show you the showers, the thunderstorms that continue to fire to the east of us this afternoon and a couple of spots that are just rolling in overhead as we look around Mount Airy and point south out toward Wilkes County too. So we're looking at a couple of showers, non severe today, except for the heavy rain that created the flash flooding in eastern Guilford County. Those were two to three inch totals out there and you see just some spotty showers here as we lift out through Reedsville and parts of Yanceyville, some light showers right now. Estimated rainfall anywhere, as we mentioned from some folks getting about a tenth of an inch on those light blue areas. All the way to two to three inches and even down through Montgomery County just north of the Troy area about three inches there. Rainfall totals today at the airports well 37 hundredths of an inch in Reedsville and then notice Burlington two and a half inches just a little bit over that in the airport at Ashboro about three hundredths of an inch while folks around that region that saw those scattered thunder, strong thunderstorms with heavy rain had anywhere from two to three inches there. Temperatures right now are a little bit milder compared to where we've been. You had highs in the upper 80s today. You're now down to 82 in Greensboro. You've got a couple of showers still trying to form here. We've got 82 in Mount Airy, 77 in Sparta coming down out of those upper 90s to or upper 80s rather to 90s for folks in Mount Airy. 89 degrees officially today in Mount Airy, 89 in Uptown Lexington almost made it to 90 in a few spots. High temperatures typically at 89 this time of the year. So this isn't far off from what we would expect for July. It's just the high humidity is with us as we have lots of moisture to work with and a front that is hanging out nearby. So 89 degrees is the average as we mentioned 88 today 102 would have been the record to beat thankfully no century mark on the seven day forecast either we do have severe thunderstorm risk developing early tomorrow morning this is a marginal risk for folks in the mountains. Also to the east, we could see some damaging winds. That's the main concern from these storms that may form tomorrow, and they do look to be scattered still, and some of those clusters may form and fill in over the foothills as well as the Piedmont Triad. Your temperature starting out at 63, warming to 75. Notice your impact hour is starting in the morning and then dropping off once we get you through the brunch hour. Your shower and storm chances will start to drop off, but not non-existent. So we have a chance to see some spotty rain after that, maybe even some peaks of sunshine. You've got stormy conditions for folks in the Piedmont from 71 degrees to near 80. Six degrees before we see those temperatures again drop off. Your rain chances also falling off once we get you through middle of the afternoon. So it looks like a narrow window here where we do have that risk for severe thunderstorms mid morning through about three o'clock in the afternoon. At least now on this current storm timing, we do want you to check in with meteorologist Dave Aiken tomorrow morning as he'll update you on any changes to the severe weather threats. We look at those clusters developing by early morning in the mountains. Sparta, you'll be in the 60s there and seeing those thunderstorms spread east gradually as we get you through 10 11 o'clock and noticing more active weather through middle of the day with very active weather possible up until about two three o'clock damaging winds as we mentioned along with the heavy rain and the threat for lots of lightning so plan your day accordingly and check in with us make sure you're checking wxi 12 radar as well you've got stray storms that'll linger monday then you're hot and steamy for most of next week